Good morning, everyone. Mike Winkler, and I want to take a minute here to talk about the most important thing you can do in tuning your Q radar and getting it to run the way you want it to. And this is about host definition building blocks. So I've opened up to my offense screen in Q radar, and this is something that will change all the time. And mine is, of course, kind of generic. But I'm going to go click into the rules section. Okay, and under rules, there's going to be two basic categories rules themselves and building blocks. Okay, all well and good. So I clicked into rules over here on the left, and then I clicked into building blocks up here in the top. I'm then gonna select the category of host definition. Okay, what this is, is um, this is the definition of how QRadar understands your network. Who are the real proxy servers? What's actually in the DMZ? What's actually your LDAP servers? So if it starts to spot transactions like, hey, I've just seen a proxy that's not one of yours, we know that this is a problem. So in this case, if I take mail servers, right, but I could take any of the ones off this list, I'm going to dig into the mail servers thing here. Um, it looks a lot like the Outlook wizard, right? It's real simple about how to do this, and it just says, hey, go through and define who your mail servers are. Where this has never been defined before, the only thing in there is the generic answer. So I could use a reference set, okay, and put a list in the back end and just reference that. But in this case, I'm going to kind of do the easy way, and I'm going to say, here's the IP address of my mail server. And I'm picking a number that's kind of at random there. And I'm going to remove the generic one because that doesn't help anything. So now, Anytime QRadar is looking at something that might involve a mail proxy or a mail message, this kind of thing, it is going to know who my mail servers are. Okay, and I'm just clicking finish down here. You don't even have to go all the way through the wizard, and you're going to see, one sec while that resolves, that that is updated that my mail server is that 34.IP address. Now, what you should do when you're operating your QRadar is around once a year, you should go through this list, and I believe there's 16 total categories of host definition building blocks. This is by far the number one most important thing you can do to get accurate results out of your Q radar because literally this is how it can tell the good guys from the bad guys. This is Mike Winkler and I've been talking about host definition building blocks.